I'm Gökhan Saki. They call me the rebel because I'm small and I fight everybody. In Istanbul, I'm fighting Daniel Gita. I'm gonna kick his ass. My name is Daniel Gita. People call me the Seven Samurai. There is one fight uh, very important for me. I'm gonna have the revenge with uh, Saki. I win already one time from Gita. This will, will be the second time. I want to show the people who is the best. I'm the fastest heavyweight and Gita can't handle this. I'm gonna knock him out. Punch, kicks, left hook, left high kick. You don't have chance. No chance, zero chance. In Istanbul, I'm gonna break everything in his body. I will fight for my own people, you know. In Istanbul, I'm gonna make the Turkish people proud. Ladies and gentlemen, your main event of the evening scheduled for three three-minute rounds in the heavyweight ranks of glory. This, a much anticipated rematch of an extra round battle three years in the making. This time, they fight for a shot at the glory heavyweight title. Introducing first, standing on my right and fighting out of the blue corner, a World Grand Prix champion who fought his way to the finals of glory for Tokyo. His professional record, 47 wins with eight losses, 36 wins by knockout. He stands 1.94 meters, and he weighed in at fight time at 108.8 kilograms. Fighting out of Romania, ranked number two in the world, ladies and gentlemen, Daniel the Savage Samurai. His opponent standing on my left and fighting from the red corner, a Dutch and European champion, world Muay Thai champion. His record, 78 wins with 16 losses, 55 big wins by knockout. He stands 1.84 meters and he weighed in at fight time at 103.5 kilos. Fighting out of Turkey by way of the Netherlands. Ladies and gentlemen, Rank number three in the world, here is Gokhan, the Rebel Saki! Your referee for this man at you, Ubeda. Okay, fight of one clean fight. No headbutts, no elbows. No cleansing in the lower back, after man come on, break his break, stop, stop y'all, okay? If it's a good fight, say hands on the back. Good. This is the biggest Go. fight in kickboxing, Go. right? Both in the black trunks. Saki in the red gloves, Gita in the blue gloves. Round one, fight! This is round right. number one or round number five, because of the rematch. Yeah. Firing in that arm. 
but uh, yeah. But what happened? Was it from the fall or from something before? I think it was from the fall because I, there were no kicks to Peter's left arm. So you cannot play can be a head game too, you know. You never know. Good big all good right right now. Stick to the body by Gina. Shocky fires back with a one, two, three. But Gina's got great defense. He just got also long arms, you know, if he puts his arms on defense. His body is also protected. They're throwing bombs here on the inside. He's safe to throw his legs there. Low kicks. The corner from Motosaki asking for.
fight, fight, hands up. Fight. time of two minutes 22 seconds of the second round when our referee Umada steps in and stops the fight this one ruled a technical knockout for your winner Gokan Saki That was rough. Sorry? That was, that was a really tough second round for you. Yeah, really tough. Uh, uh, I wait too much uh, for uh, to punch Saki, and uh, yeah, he gonna happen. He, he happened to knock me out. Uh, this is the... And what went wrong for you? Sorry? What went wrong for you? I wait too much. I wait uh, Saki to punch uh, before me, but I must start uh, the attack. But yeah, Saki, he's good counter and he catch me. I want to congratulate him for the fight. Thank you very much. You're a great heavyweight and we look forward to seeing you once again. Daniel Gita, and now, Gokan. Come on, come on. I know you're not shy now. And you can speak Turkish, you can speak English. How big was this win for you? Angelic there. Hepinize çok ama çok teşekkür etmek istiyorum.
Hepiniz burada beni desteklediniz. Bunu unutmayacağım. Sizi seviyorum. Did he hurt you at all in this fight? Sorry, sorry. Did he hurt you at all in the fight? No, he don't hurt me. He gave me two minute kicks. <laughs> I'm a smart fighter, you know? I listen also to his corner, so I hear everything. I'm too sharp to let him do some things by me, you know? So, Gita is a top fighter, but I'm better than him. I show it today again. It's the second time, first time they say, no, I don't lose, I don't lose now. This time he lose by KO, so now nobody can talk, and he can he, he go out of the ring, you know? Boss Rutten and I were very impressed by that combination. I don't know if there was 10, 20 punches in there, and I think that uh, you probably got one thing on your mind now, and that one thing is Mr. Semi Schultz. Yes, I fight him uh, last time in December in the finals. I lose that fight. I lose this fight. For me, not. I don't lose this fight by myself. I see the fight, uh, fight back. So, but I don't care. Even now, I show again that I'm the small heavyweight, and I'm gonna show that I'm the small heavyweight who can beat Sam Shield, also by knockout. I'm gonna show you all that, I promise you. Gokhan, that was a really, really impressive win. One more thought from you. I want to thank uh, Pierre Anderon, the president, the boss from uh, Glory, that he made happen, that we have Glory, the biggest organization of the world, the Champions League of kickboxing, that it be here in Istanbul. So Pierre, give him a big applause. And ladies and gentlemen, Istanbul, let's give it up one more time for your man, the man of the moment, the rebel, Gokhan Saki. Sakishin. Wow, and let's take a look at the replay again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So it's twelve, huh? A twelve shot coming at you. Look at that liver shot left hook, boom, it throws an uppercut in between here also. So uppercut there right over the top. I mean this is spreading out your artillery all over the place and then eventually, yeah, you're opening something up and that's the target. Boom! Watch, the last one was the right hook, high on top, and that means there's a lot of leverage once you hit that on top. And since the heavyweights are heavy, the head only moves instead of the whole body, and that's why the impact is as hard as harder as well against my face. But what mistake did Peter make in this fight? The box with Saki. You know, I, I thought he would come out with more combinations. He threw single shots, single kicks. It was like he was waiting to land a big blow, and this is something you can do with somebody who has got so much speech. You can't let him into his game. You gotta push. You gotta push Gokasaki backwards, because then he can't get up. Now, he still is very good fighting backwards, but it's very hard for every person on the planet to be perfectly technical while push backwards. How excited are you? Oh, I, I, that's, that's no word for it. I, I would love to see that fight. That's going to be a great fight. And uh, don't forget to tune in on April 20th for Glory 7 from Milan, Italy, where the world's greatest kickboxer, Georgia Trojan, steps back into the ring. I am Stephen Quadros. I am the fight professor alongside my broadcast partner, <laughs> El Wapo Boss Wooten Boss, it's been a pleasure once again. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you very much. Great job. It was great. It was great. A lot of time. We've got to do this again. Steve. We definitely got to do this do again. again. Ladies and gentlemen, please visit us on gloryworldseries.com. Hit us on Twitter, and that uh, address at Twitter is glory underscore WS. Once again, I'm Steve Quadros along with Boss Wooten. I'd like to thank the entire Glory staff. We will see you next time.